Did you start an Instagram account thinking it would be easy to amass a large following only to discover that then you had to create consistent content for Instagram? Today, I'm going to show you the best Instagram planning app so that you can dive in, start creating consistent content, and use Planoly to manage your Instagram in only one hour a week. For the best tips to live a freedom-based lifestyle, save time when marketing your business, and using your expertise and your authority to create passive income, then make sure to click below and subscribe to my channel. Ring that bell to be notified when I post a new video each week. I've gotten it down to scheduling Instagram content in only one hour a week. Thank you to this tool. I talked to some other online business owners who are using Planoly. Surprisingly, there is one way to use Planoly that I share in this video that none of them were using. Watch this video and I'll take you behind the scenes to see how I plan my Instagram content using Planoly. So here we are inside of my Planoly account on my phone. And one thing that I wanted to go over first, and this feature is one that most people don't even know is here. I had been using the app for about a year until I figured out this feature existed and it totally saved my time. But then Planoly, you can actually add your hashtags here by group. So on the app, you just click the three little dots and you'll see the option of hashtags. You can click here to add a new hashtag group and I post a lot about the gluten-free lifestyle so I'm just going to name this group gluten-free and then head over to the notes on my phone because this is where I hold my hashtags right now so I'm going to copy all of these here and then head back over to Planoly and paste my hashtags here and click OK. So you'll see it tells you how many characters you're using, how many hashtags that you have left because you can only have up to 30 hashtags at a time per post. Otherwise, Instagram will not let you post it because then it's kind of spammy because you're just throwing out all of the hashtags that you possibly could. And now you'll notice I have a hashtag group for gluten-free. But what hashtags really work to grow your following? I've created a business hashtag cheat sheet. Click the link below this video and I'll send it to you. The next feature I want to walk you through is how to actually add images to Planoly because Instagram is all about the images. To add an image, you click on the plus sign at the bottom of the screen. It gives you several different options of places that you can access photos from starting with your own camera roll on your phone with the albums option. Placeholder is a great way to add just a blank placeholder. This is a great option if you are somebody that likes to post images in the moment. You can kind of pre-frame or pre-write your caption so you have that aspect ready but just come back in and add the photo that you're going to be using in real time. Dropbox, Google Drive, and Apple Files are great ways to connect to other areas that may be holding your photos. Discover, we will walk through separately, but basically this is a great way to access other content from other people on Instagram to maybe curate into your own feed or get inspiration from. And then stock photos. Instagram has its own stock photo resource here that you can scroll through and see the options. They must think that I need my coffee this afternoon <laughs> because I'm seeing lots of coffee options. Or you can type in here for example, maybe you have a yoga account. Let's press search. And here we have some stock photos that are beautiful. Maybe you're looking for a desk shot. We'll type in desk. And now we have some photo inspiration that we can use with desk 
let's go back and I will click on albums click on OK so basically it's going to be opening up my own camera roll here for me to add photos from now I recently did an upload batch of content so I already have some photos in here you'll notice that some of the photos have a U in that top left corner that means that it is an unscheduled photo so these are all photos that I've uploaded and now can add captions to and then schedule what's nice is you can drag and drop these images to kind of plan your feed and what it looks like you just have to hover over it select it and then you can drag it to anywhere in your feed that matches your either theme or design. I found there's two types of people that come to Instagram. You're either a planner or a winger. Somebody who just posts whenever they feel like it. Comment below and let me know which one that you are. The next thing that I want to show you is how to add a caption and schedule your next Instagram post. So let's click on this. You'll see that this right here was the last post that I had on Instagram. Now I'm going to head over to this photo and select it. I did not pre-write a caption directly related to this. We can create one. hashtag button remember we had added the hashtag so I'm gonna add these that's how easy it makes it to add your hashtags for those and I'm going to schedule this to post one other app that I want to reference here before I schedule my post is looking at when I want this scheduled post to go live on Instagram and that is an app called when to post it tells you when your audience is most active there's a free version of this app and a paid version the next best time to post is at 4 o'clock p.m. or 8 30 p.m. tonight since I do want this to post soon I'm going to head back over to Planoly and I'm going to schedule this to post today at four o'clock and now when we come back to our feed you'll see that this post has an s in the corner and it also has the icon of a paper airplane meaning that it's scheduled to auto post most people think that planoli is just for those static posts on your instagram feed or posting to your facebook pages you can actually now add and schedule insta stories so insta stories are super hot right now everybody's talking about them you can pre-create your insta story download it off of instagram and then schedule it here so if you're going to be traveling you can pre-schedule some of your content so you're always feeling present or maybe you want to take a social media detox you can do that by pre-scheduling so all you would have to do here is go to albums just like before and upload your recent content okay so we're in instagram we're going to walk through creating an insta story i want to pull up something that's going to be like in nature so let's go to these here um okay let's click one of these we have some beautiful 
cedar on our property. I'm going to make this small since it was actually something that I took a photo of not today. It's going to add the timestamp. And one of my favorite ways to get rid of this is to actually just change the color and then add it to a small part of the screen. While this is totally uploading, um, I'm just going to walk you through maybe something I would do here. Now, if I wanted to just schedule this on social media, all I would have to do is click send to and then choose share. But since I'm going to be using this later, I'm going to click this arrow down and you see that circle, that means that it's downloading and it's saving to my phone. This is great because now we can go over to Planoli and we can click the add story, go to our albums, and this will pull up the recent photos and I will select this, that story that we just created here, and now we can upload it. To schedule it, we can just add a time, choose a date, and then save. You can comment and engage with other people within the app. Click on those three dots in the bottom right corner here, and you'll see comments. This actually brings up all your recent comments there is a limit to how many recent posts you can go back to depending on the version of Planoli that you have. I want to click on, I'll just click on my recent post and it will actually throw up my last three comments. So you can actually come back in here and add a comment if I wanted to follow up with somebody or continue the conversation. Another neat feature is the analytics side of Planoly. Instagram itself has its own analytics section if you have a business or professional page. And there's other apps that you can use to really dive into your analytics. But I love the overview. It tells you how many likes that your Instagram account has had, how many people you are following, how many followers that you have this week. And it compares the week before. As you scroll down, you're able to see your top liked post. And this is neat because it lets you see what kind of content that your audience is resonating over the last week, over the last month, and over the last year. And what I love too is when you click on the calendar, you'll see what content has been scheduled and when you have posted. So the the idea is to be as consistent as possible with Instagram. This is not my main account, so I don't actually post on it every single day as much as I should. And I can quickly reference what I've talked about this month already to continue a certain theme. I struggled to grow my Instagram following for years, and then I found this one cool technique called Instagram giveaways that I started using and I saw my Instagram grow so fast. Comment below if you've used Instagram giveaways before. I'd love to post a new video for you next week going over how to use Instagram giveaways as a way to grow your Instagram following. The last thing that I wanna show you is the discover option. So let's click the plus on the bottom and choose discover. Here we can either search for a specific hashtag or search for a specific user. Let's click on yoga. And here we will see photos that have the tag of yoga that we could maybe plan or add to our feed. Add this one here that looks like it would add my design. So now you just have to upload it and you'll see that it's being added here to my scheduler so I could drag and drop and integrate this into my feed wherever I would want to. When you click on this, it's going to pull in the old caption plus any hashtags that they use. I like to edit the caption and add my own. So let's just say, um, looking forward to the weekend and kicking up my feet. 
because she has her feet in the air. And then what I would do is go to my emojis. I find the camera, at sign, and then I will type in their username. Now you know how to use Planoly to plan your Instagram content, but how do you know which Instagram hashtags really work to grow your following? Down below, I've created a link to 30 free Instagram hashtags that you can use to grow your business. Click the link below in the description and let me know where you'd like me to send this cheat sheet. If you like this video, make sure to click like below, subscribe to my channel, and then share it with your online business friends. But I want to hear from you. What is your favorite tool to use to manage Instagram? Comment below with that tool so I can check it out and make sure you grab your free cheat sheet with 30 business hashtags that you can use today to start growing your following.